Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I have completed my six little mini albums that I made for my great grandson, and I want to share the finished pieces with you. Uh, this is the using the Cardabella School Days paper. It is so cute. I have to explain though from the get go. I did not cover the back or the spine of any of them because I ran out of paper. And the reason I ran out is what happened is Tammy had told me she was going to send me this collection from an next design team package. Well, I knew if I made six of these and a box to hold them all that I would need two collections. So I went ahead and ordered what I felt like I needed extra. And then she couldn't get any more of the collection for the longest time. Well, by the time it did come in, I had already constructed all six of them. So um, this is what I have, but I still think it turned out really, really cute. I made one for each of the first six grades. I was going to do kindergarten through eighth grade, but it doesn't look like our little fella's going to get to go to kindergarten. Uh, if he does, she'll keep everything separately in another container. Um, but I made the sixth grades. I admitted seventh and eighth grade because we figured by the time he gets to that part of school, he'll probably have other interest in the arts, like maybe sports or um, debate team or drama or you know whatever band and these little books wouldn't be big enough to hold all of those other things so um, I went ahead and just did the six and so here's number one and I covered each of them in uh, solids from my colors and I used the three-part wrap that Tammy designed and I left them plain on the back like I said a lot of times when you buy a bound book it's plain on the back so I thought it should be okay I have a photo mat on the front with the one, and these numbers came from Tammy's store as well. Everything here actually, with the exception of these charms, came from Country Craft Creations. And most of you are familiar with these charms. This collection is called um, School Days, and I had a couple of them I used that was out of a collection called Boyd Blue. And I'll put a link in the description box if you want to go find the charms. Um, I've just punched out some hearts to add to it. So on the inside of each one of them, I gave her a pocket so that she could uh, keep notes from the teacher, a report card, maybe some little art projects that he might do, or samples of his handwriting as he learns to write. And on this page, we have a pocket. And I did get the stamp from Tammy that makes the journaling spaces, and I thought that was really neat. I just did it with Distress Inks. And then we have a little photo mat that's loose under here so you can slide your picture under. Now, I didn't have any ephemera with this because, you know, when Tammy sends it, she usually sends the ephemera. So I didn't order that or any ribbon. I just used things out of my stash. And here's page two. Some of the stickers here with two photo mats. This is a punch that I had in my stash another little photo mat and one of the stickers and these are from the sticker and I just had this baker's twine in my stash then we have three photo mats under this one this is a punch that I had in my stash and I punched it in several different colors and then pieced it back in there I thought it looked kind of cool like that and three little photo mats in there then we have three photo mats in this little pocket and then on the back side we have two photo mats with a little boy and the pack of books. And then here we have a photo mat. So that is first grade. Then for second grade, I have a belly band on the front with the number two and a doily. And I have two little photo mats tucked under there. Actually three. There's two on the red and one on the blue. And then I just paper clipped this little report card die cut that I found online and I just paper clipped it to the front and I made a little flag border, border there. So inside again we have the double pockets. This is another piece of the ribbon from my stash. One of the stickers. There's a photo mat in this pocket. A double photo mat on a tag. And another little report card. And then on this side I have a expandable pocket and I just punched out three little hearts and put some little gems on them. This one has a magnet 
opens out this way, opens this way, and then down this way. Lots of photo space. One magnet, and then there's a photo mat, two photo mats on the back. And I didn't show you the charms on the first one. The charms on the first one is a bicycle, a baseball cap, and a basketball. And then on this one, I have a school bus and an apple. Now I am going to make a box to hold all of these, but I've got to raid my stash and see what I've got that I can use to do that with since I'm out of a lot of the papers. Number three says believe and achieve. And this one is done in orange. And here we have an expandable pocket so she can get plenty in that. Another report card. And then we have a little boy from the sticker sheet. And I just die cut two ovals. Photo mat here. More spaces for photos. And these are loose so you can tuck your photo under it. This one's the same way. And I just punched out some circles from some of my scraps. Same way with the hearts and the flowers. I just punched them out with uh, punches that I had in my stash. We've got two photo mats in this little pocket. And we have a double photo space over here. This little pocket has three. It's amazing how much you can get in one little folder or folio. And then that one goes that way. And there's a little photo mat here and two tucked in the pocket. Oops, went the wrong way. That one first. And that one. And on this one I have, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's some kind of a bell, I'm not sure. And a puzzle piece. Okay, number four. The charms are a book and a ruler. And on this one I have a small photo mat. This is not a belly band, it's just a border strip with a Martha Stewart punch behind it. And one of the um, little flash cards cut from the back side of one of the papers. And then on the inside we have the double pocket again. I have a journaling spot and a report card. I have two more of the little flash cards here. This one says A plus student. This was all one long card, and I cut the student and was down here. I cut it off the bottom and just staggered it so it would fit. Uh, these are some of the little cut-aparts from... Now this, by the time I got to this one, I had to pull out some stuff from my stash, and this came out of a, these three little ones, and this one came out of an authentic package from last year. Then we have the bus from the sticker sheet with photos says work and be kind, work hard and be kind, and the little girl, and this just says the ABCs, and then I reversed it and put the blue over here. First day of school, learn, imagine, explore, and create. One little photo mat, have the word school, two apples, all this is from the sticker sheet, and I just left this plain on the back. Put a nice big photo mat. So that's number four. Number five has a large banner on the front with a doily behind it. it. says first day of school and a couple of scraps. This one has an apple and another one of those. I'm not sure what that is. Not positive, but it came out of the school pack. And then we have another expandable pocket here. And all I have in it this time is just the report card. And then on this side we have a place photo here. It says best friends. This one is mostly blue and red and kind of a gold or a cream. Have red and blue here. These, this paper, this one, those are from Authentic. I had to pull some things out of my stash just to get through with these last couple. This little pencil paper is from the Authentic collection from last year. And this is from the sticker sheet. I love that color of blue. Kind of a cornflower blue. It's really pretty. This one is from this uh, sheet. This one is from this collection. 
this is from the Authentique, this stars. I know my ABCs, and we've got a big apple here, and it says cool, school is cool. So there's that. That's number five. Now we're down to the last one. And I think what I'm going to do is um, get out my um, Cricut Joy and make small numbers because the numbers in the... I have more of these, but they're too large for these narrow spines. So I think I'll cut some small ones with the Cricut Joy so that when they're in a box, you can see which one is which and just put a small number down at the bottom. So on number six... This was part of the collection, Notes from Home, or Notes Home. Another report card. And this one just says Field Notes in First Day of School. Just one of the extra um, cut-aparts that came in the collection. And then we have another one of the fold-outs with a magnet. It opens this way again. Left this open for a photo as well as this one. Got a photo mat here, first day of school. This one goes up. This one goes down. And I put a little pocket down here to hold little tiny photo mats. Close this like that. And then on the back we have the school days, another photo mat, it says on a roll. So, I think when these are all put in a box together. Let me get them out here all together. If I make a box to hold them all, you know, kind of like a file folder box or something on that um, type of thing, and then put each of the numbers down here at the bottom, she can easily see which one she wants out. So that is my game plan. I'm going to go through my stash and see what I've got that I can decorate a box with. I know I've got plenty of cardstock. It's just the design paper that's kind of iffy. All right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you back soon. Bye. Okay, for the fourth folder will be the same uh, basic layout as number one, which you remember is this one has the double pocket on the left side and then the four little pages on the right. Now I'm having to be very creative with my paper because I'm running out and I've still got three folios to do or folders. So I'll embellish as I go along. Um, I will show you the basic layout of each one and then I'll have to backtrack and see what I can do with my papers. But what I have is um, on the front pockets, this time I'm not going to cover them with paper like I did here. I'm going to just simply embellish them so I can save on my paper. So I have the first pocket, which is on your cut list, and this is from the um, companion papers that Tammy has. It's gold on one side and red on the back side. See, I didn't cut this off enough. Where's scissors? Where are you? There they are. These are overlapping on the back, and I don't like them to overlap because then they make too much bulk. Let me turn that out just a hair. And that side's okay. Okay, make sure I've got glue flowing out of here this morning. I forgot and left it uncapped too long last night, so I'm not sure if it's going to cooperate. There it comes a little bit. Pretty sparse here this morning. Now where's my pin? There it is. Run the pin down in there a time or two. Loosen it up. Come on, turkey. Okay. See if it won't come out a little better. There we go, that's better. That's more like what I need. I don't want oodles and gobs, but I want enough to make it stay where I put it, right? Okay. This one is going to sit at the bottom. Just shy of the bottom, just a hair.
one before I press this top edge down, I want to stick this one just barely up under the edge. And then I'll put that piece of paper, that design paper down inside just a hair. Okay, I want this to be about so. Oh, that didn't look even. Let's make sure we're even here. Let me get a measurement on that. Make sure it's the same. Yes, that looks good. Okay, so now I can press it into place. Now I may need to trim this off just a hair to make it fit inside. I will, just just ever so slightly. And paper trimmer right here. And I won't need all of this piece to go down in it. That's why I wanted to put the pockets down first so I could cut off anything I don't need because I may need it on another one of the other two folders that are left. Okay, let's see how much of this I need. I need it to be... I keep misplacing my ruler. There it is. Set my paper cutter on top of it. For this I only need about three and a quarter. So let's cut three and a quarter off. I'll cut three and three eighths just to give it a little extra. And that'll give me a decent piece to use for a pocket somewhere else. Okay. Now let's put some glue on this. Just sling it all over the place. Okay. Come on, turkey, go down in there. Like you're supposed to. Oh. I'm telling you, it's not cooperating. There it goes. Once you get it started, you're okay. So, let's put this down just a hair more. Just like that. Okay, now, on this bottom pocket, I am going to put this navy blue strip because my pages on the other side, my flat pages, are going to be navy blue base. So I want to bring the navy blue over to this side. And I'm just going to put a strip. Oh, I've got to cut that off. I thought I already had it cut to length. I'll tell you I'm not with it today. Let me trim that just a hair. Need more glue, huh? This art glitter glue sets up pretty quick. I should have done a dry run before I put the glue on it, but you know how that goes. We get impatient and start putting it together. There's that. Make sure we're the same. This was one 
cut apart it was quite a bit bigger and I just cut it down so I could put it on the pocket here use it as an embellishment let's see what I did I put glue up there and I don't want glue up at the top I just want it to attach down here And it kind of covers up my notch, but that's okay. So number one student. And I'm going to put the, the word student here. And then I come back and add some little enamel dots there. And then I cut out three of the little flashcards. And I thought... Putting them here like that. And that kind of takes up that space a little bit. I guess I don't need that one. But it kind of fills in the um, pockets so you don't need design paper on there. So I'm just going to glue them at the bottom. Leave it so my little knot shows this time. report card. I just found these online and I'm just going to put one in each each one of them to give her an idea of you know what to do what goes in these pockets a journaling spot and this is from the collection as well I just matted it on the dark blue and I meant to put this little stripe under there and I forgot it but it's okay it works fine like that so on this side we have our three pages and they're all scored at a half. Let me burnish this. I'm telling you, I'm missing everything. Hmm. And we've got another one over here. I'll use, use the one that comes with the score pal. This first one I want to tuck underneath so that I don't I don't want to have this blue flap showing. So I'm going to add glue to the inside of the flap. And I'm just going to ballpark it. What I feel like is close to center and fold it over. dry run here and make sure that you don't need to trim it because this this does hang out just a hair and you don't want your paper to hit the see I'm, I'm going to take just a smidge off of it just to make sure that it doesn't hit that fold line just ever so slightly So we can put that down. You just always want to make sure you're not going to hit that fold line. Otherwise, if you do, your pages are all going to be buckled and not laid down nice and flat. And that's not a pretty thing. Okay, there's your first one. And we're going to ourself a little margin all the way around a little border of the turquoise and what I did with that other 
other tool. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, well, we'll use this one. Make sure it's down nice and flat. And then the other two are just simply going to go right on top of it. And then, like I said, you can add pockets or um, whatever. Uh, use some of your cut-aparts, uh, photo mats, journaling spots. And don't forget to use your stickers to dress them up a little bit. And you can always uh, mat your stickers on cardstock to make them stand out a little bit. Sorry about that, the computer's sending me a message. I think it's kind of loud. There's that. Let me pull it over to me so I can see what I'm doing without sticking my head in the camera. are three little pages and I don't really think you need a magnet for this because your book is going to sit oh, that wants to come out is going to sit like this in the container so nothing's going to go anywhere I do have some little bungee cord things ordered online that I thought I would uh, tie one around each of the folders and then uh, add some little charms to the ends of the bungee cord but it hasn't arrived yet so I don't know if, if I'm even going to like it but I'll let you know on that alright I'm going to go for now cut some more pages on uh, more paper so that I can show you the layout of number two which will also be number five alright guys alright on number five is the one we have a double pocket on the left just like the last one we did we have a strip of the blue for the spine and then we're going to have an expandable pocket over here that holds the insert so I have scored at one half one and one and a half on both ends and again at the bottom and I'm going to cut out these little boxes here Fold the first one up. Which is away from you. Then towards you. And then away from you. And make sure that it is above the bottom just enough that it doesn't hang below because you don't want that to show and then we'll do the same thing with the sides fold it away from you and you've probably done this many times before if you have you can just fast forward past this part but I thought I would include it since uh, quite often we have new people that 
this may be the first time they're making one. So we want to make sure we include everybody. So just pull on it if you have to to make sure it's inside that edge because we don't want it hanging out. There we go. Don't want any overlap there. tug on it before I burnish it to make sure it is not going to hang out. Okay, and there's that. Now burnish it down. Now. You can either attach it this way which is what I normally do. So that when you put it down, it makes your expandable pocket. Like that. And we do need to punch it so it matches the others. And this one is, let me see, what's my center on this? Center is five even. So the score line needs to be two and a half. Because that's what is showing. And we'll punch that. And now I can ink it. this one and put it down. I'm going to have just a little larger margin than what I normally have. My grandson's been here. <laughs> but that's all the paper I have. Tamara just had a really hard time getting me another collection of this, so she's going to send me something else from my design team. She was going to send me this, and I knew I would need more than one collection, so I went ahead and bought one and thought, well, I'll go ahead and start on it, which I did, but she was didn't get any more, and I just talked to her so yesterday or this morning, I think it was yesterday. And it finally came in, but I'm about done. So she's going to send me something different, and I'll just stretch out what I've got until I ain't got no more. Okay. I'm going to attach this right here. Just like that. And then do the other side. And I do want to snip these edges here just a little bit. Oops, that came off. It's okay. We're going to burnish it down anyway. <laughs> Quit. 
quit, Huey. Told you he starts every time. Every time. Uh oh, my paper's wider than my. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. Well, hold on a minute. Let me see if I got a piece I can fix it with. I could have left it on there, but I didn't think I needed it. That's what I'll do. I'll just have to piece it together. Although I think it goes this way. It does. Now it'll be a perfect match and nobody will be the wiser, but me and you that's watching. I'll make a little mark and I'll trim it off. Where'd I put my mark? Hmm. Oh, I see it. Now. Let's see if I got it right. A little bit more off. That wasn't one of my smarter things, but with the pocket being there, it's not going to be noticeable at all. And I don't have another piece of paper to, to do anything with. So since I've got a perfect match here, nobody's going to be wiser. Had I realized, I wouldn't have inked the bottom because there's ink. But with the pocket covering it, you'll never know. I just want to ink this little strip while I'm here. Sometimes you just got to make the best of what you got. You know, and that's all I got. Stretching it to the max as it is. You know, and when you're putting it together like this, it's still very plain, but once you get all your inserts and your embellishments and everything on it, it just is so cute. Just the cutest paper. ink or glue on this. That's what happens when you don't do a dry run. It all's well that ends well, right? Figured out a way around it. Okay, now just a bit above the bottom. A little in from each side. Oops. Not quite straight. There we go. Now see, nobody will notice. But you sure would if I hadn't added it. That would have been a real eyesore. Okay, I'm going to put some clips on here and let this set up for a minute and then I'll come back and we'll put the insert together. Okay, for the insert that goes in this expandable pocket, get 
this little gem out of the way. Let me do, 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 do. There it is. Ink each of these real quick. I should have had that done, but I don't. I just like the inked edges. I think they look better. But you can skip that if you don't like the inked edges. It's just a matter of, you know, personal preference. lots of really neat inks that you can use around the edges if you like the feathered edges. Okay, we're getting there. and scoring and stuff done. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, I didn't have it done. This is a real easy insert. Okay. Oh, I better do the back. Because we do want to utilize the back. I think I have photo mats on the back of the other one, I believe. Try to use every little space that we have. Okay. Now this is your top piece. Just sits right, and I like to wrap it to the back so I have a nice rolled edge here. And now you can put it on top if you want like that. But I, I don't like having all those extra edges if I can get away with, without it showing. But again, it's personal preference. Whichever you like is what you do. So we're going to put glue underneath there. And we're just going to line it up and fold that over. And then we'll burnish it on the back. So that'll be your flap up. And then the bottom one is a little bit narrower, so we'll just ballpark it about like so. And put some glue under there. And again, I'm wrapping it to the outside, but like I said, you do what, whatever you want with yours. And we'll burnish this. nothing earth shattering or complicated about this little insert but it's really cute when you get all your papers on it okay and this one goes like this this one goes this way so we want to kind of ballpark it and I'm going to fold it over to make sure I leave enough room because we need that overlap there it again. And then 
this is the bow piece that has the magnet on it. And we're going to put that right about, yeah, that looks, looks pretty good to me. It took longer to ink it than it did to put it together. Now, magnet. I got a package in it somewhere. Did I leave them out? Let me see. I hate to open another package. I know I've got a package open. Oh, here they are. Right under my nose. Blind as a bat. Okay. So I want it about yonder. And I want to put it on the back side where it doesn't make a big lump. And what was that? That was a positive. So we need a negative. Okay, it wants to flip over, so I need tape. Oops. It's turning around this way. So the short piece still sticks out. So we'll fix that by trimming off a little. direction to make sure it does it come over there until I get back to it because I want to show you number six this is number five and this will go in this pocket once embellished sit down there okay that's number five number six to be another expandable pocket so I will do that one off camera. This one has an expandable pocket on this side and on this side it has photomat flaps and one magnet. And once again, alright, let me pause it real quick because I don't want to make you watch me ink it again. I'm going to ink each of these four flaps and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back on number six. So I have the ABC and the Apple paper here. Here is my little expandable pocket. I didn't have enough to put on that side so I decided to go with the blue and then in order to make one page relate to the other, I don't have enough of this, but I do have some of this so I can put blue on the pocket and that will make these two and then I can bring some red over here so that will work so what we want to do with these is attach the first one underneath kind of ballpark it just like we did before Oops that off. Burnish that down. Now before, I don't have enough glue under there. Get a little bit more glue under there before I put 
put the other side on. I want to make sure if I need to trim any off of it. And I'm thinking, yeah, just a hair. Let me take just a hair off of that to allow for that. Just a tad. So I don't want that craft color hanging over the edge. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so this one needs to match up with that one. Just like that. into place. Now this one can go on top. easier to pull it over to me so I can see what I'm doing here. Match up my corners. start embellishing and doing our last three covers. So I will do the embellishing and the covers off screen just to save time. I will come back with the walkthrough when it's all done and show you the finish so you can see the placement of everything. And then I will do uh, one more section of tutorial and that will be the box or toad or whatever I decide to make to hold all of these because it has to hold all six and I had intended to make the tote like I made with another project a while back but I don't know if I'm going to have the paper to do that so let me see boy that's going to be close on the edge but it's going to have to work because that's all I got alright so let's put this in the book Okay, so that is it for the tutorial on the folders, and I will finish, like I said, I'll finish the embellishing uh, off screen. I'll come back and show you the finished 
uh, projects and then we'll work on the container. Alright, see you shortly.